now you've got your um, egg mixture and it's not too thick it's not too thin it's just right I'm going to leave these two what I want you to do is add drops of water not too much to begin with so much of this you just have to judge by experience so get some cheap pigment get a cheap brush and um, eggs and a half bottle of vodka will last you for a few years depending on how much you're painting to be honest um, and you know you don't need really expensive materials <clears throat> save that for your brushes and you do not use your painting brushes for mixing because this is hard on the brushes now I'm going to use um, a piece of I'm going to show you the difference on watercolour paint and regular regular cartridge paper. I won't use my board yet because this is still really strong. So this is regular cartridge paper. See how intense that is? There's tons on the brush. And then on the watercolour paper. I tend not to use watercolour even for practice because it grabs the paint so quickly. See the watercolour paper is dry, the cartridge paper is still wet. So if you want to practice on paper, um, cartridge is smoother, it's preferable to watercolour paper. But you see how dark that paint is. Now, you might, you might occasionally use paint that thick. I'm trying to think when you would. I don't ever use paint that thick, I'll be honest, I'll clean that up. Because the point of egg temper painting is it, it dries really quickly, so unlike oil painting, you can do lots of thin layers really quickly. But rather than add extra water to that, you see I'm pushing that back from the edge so it doesn't dry out. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of the paint from there. And then I'm going to add more water. Mix it thoroughly. See how quickly. And I think actually just to show you, I'll do one more. Now from up here, they all look pretty similar, yeah? But if I grab one of my brushes, um, I apologise for not having, what do you call them, a tripod? I <coughs> hope this isn't making you ill. Wet your brush before you put it into paint, so it doesn't soak the paint up into the ferrule, the, the metal bit at the end here. Now, this is our original. So, I've been practising my paint strokes, practice. Um, if I do a line with the original paint, now you can see it's nice and thick, quite strong, intense colour. This is the medium mixture. Much better. Um, that would be an appropriate one to start using for putting down washes of colour to build up on the garment. And this one, <coughs> this is a really nice pink colour, which is good for um, when you're doing the face, if you're doing the face and you want to put some colour in here on top of your yellow, you could use that one there because it's so nice. But in the palette, they look really similar. On the watercolour paper, here's the thin brush. Here's the middle, and here is our original, which is egg mixture and then water added. What happens if you don't add water to the egg mixture? Well, you can see here it's drying out, and if I try to paint with that, uh, not, not a whole lot going on, and it looks completely dead. So, I will do a quick recap in the next video and then I'll show you how it works on a gesso board.